Hi everyone, I want to show you a little bit how to do the CDH properly and uh, speedruns. This is specifically for Gaudium Hunters, but uh, you can probably also apply this to pretty much any other party setting where you replace support team hunter. And uh, I've been farming up to Paragon 1900 now, almost exclusively playing support. And uh, I guess I have gathered a lot of experience now that uh, I can share here. So I did cover this uh, whole build in a guide before the season started. So if you are not really aware about the setup at all and you have never played this, then you should probably check that out first. This is more gameplay oriented here. So I assume that you understand the basics of this build. Uh, so let's start uh, when you do these runs. Um, there are two key factors that decide your, uh, your success, especially when you play with uh, the Gaunt Demon Hunter as DPS. And uh, first of all, it's the Fortress Blister uptime on your DPS, because um, that means uh, better scores are time when you don't drop Fortress Blister stacks or the shield in general. And the second one is the pulling ability. So pulling at the right time, with the right size of monster and so on, is extremely important. And uh, this will really determine the success of these runs. Uh, there is a reason why certain groups can easily go to like 112, 114, 115 speeds in uh, less than three minutes and others can't. And it's not just the sheet damage of your DPS. So uh, you are uh, responsible for making the pulls as a CDH most of the time at least. So when I do these runs, we have uh, two guard DHs, we have one support DH, we have one support barb. And the barb does have flip and does have stomp, but it doesn't really matter too much. So the flip is just mainly there to get like a lead closer to us here and there. And the stomp yeah, can be used and um, it, it helps out as well. But most of the pulling is going to come from your bowler. And uh, for this, you have to make sure that you bowler at the right time and you don't spam it too much. In fact, there's actually the problem that when you spam bowler too much, you lag out the entire game. I hear this quite often that um, people are complaining about lags and this has to do with bowler being spammed way too much. So whenever this happens, um, also like when it's not you playing the support but someone else, uh, you should um, maybe take a look and see if you see way too many bowlers and then maybe talk about this. Because uh, for some reason this creates a lot of calculations with like pulling the enemies and so on, and you can actually lag out in, in like two minute speedruns. It's crazy, but this is what it is. So talking about the bowler, it's also important that you don't mess up your crowd control reduction too much. So this can be done through you know, more pulling from uh, the too many bowlers, or it can also be done with a war companion, because this setup usually has the Marauder two-piece bonus, and uh, this makes it so that you have the war companion, which is nice because uh, you get 20% all rest for everyone, but also when you press your wolf button, it will taunt everything from the boar. And the boar taunt is right, quite long, so usually when you press it in density, you won't really be able to pull a lot of stuff. So typically, I want to try to press the wolf companion when there's like, no enemies around or when stuff is already grouped after doing the boulder or the stomp. So this can help you out quite a bit because um, yeah, making the good pulls is very important through the density scanning from the gold demon hunter. It has the best density scanning in the game and uh, even adding like one or two or three more enemies to a, a small pull of 10 uh, will, will be like day and night because you know the pierces go through more enemies each pierce increases the damage of the next pierce and so on and it just scales extremely fast and uh, making the pulls in, in the right spot is very important so i should always try to make sure that uh, you um, use the bowler when necessary and uh, typically you just you know rush ahead into a pull and press one bowler maybe two bowlers and then you start doing entangling shot and motor shot and so on so uh, this comes down to it and uh, well yeah after the pulling it's also most importantly the the buffs that you apply the entangling shot specifically is by far the strongest dps buff in the game uh, with 150 percent additive damage so that alone usually gives you dps something like 80 percent extra damage or so and uh, yeah you need to make sure that that applies to all targets as fast as possible so when you use the entangling shot the chain gang rune and uh, you strafe around and you shoot like, I don't know, five entangling shots a second or so, you can typically entangle like a whole pull in like a second or one and a half seconds, and uh, this will be fine. Just make sure you also refresh it because it only has a two second duration. You can also use the, the four second uh, duration rune and um, this will make it easier to keep it up. So especially for like maybe higher tiers or so, you can do this. But for this really fast, like two, three minute runs, uh, I would uh, suggest that the rune that entangles four enemies at a time because uh, the, f the fights are so fast paced that I need to make sure you apply this to everything. 
The other important buff is Ice Blink plus Multi Shot with the 8% uh, crit buff from the Cold Rune. So this applies a total of 18% crit chance. So it's also a pretty huge damage bonus, especially for dual wielding Gold Demon Hunters, uh, somewhere in the range of like 20, 25% DPS or so. So very nice. And uh, you have to make sure that uh, you apply this basically as fast as possible after the bowler. So typically, I go into a pull and um, I strafe in with a tanking shot activated. So I always get it up on a few targets because uh, it doesn't really make much sense to strafe around with bowler shot activated from the god uh, DH. And uh, then you, uh, after the first or second bowler, you do a multi shot and then you do a tangling and then you uh, start strafing around in the pull basically. And then depending on you know how long the fight takes and so on, you can do another multi shot after three seconds. You can maybe even do another bowler if there's like some enemies running towards you, so you can get them back into the pull, and uh, like this will also help you out a bit. Yeah. You can also rely a little bit more on the barb, especially in slower runs. So if the runs go um, longer than let's say four or five minutes or so, the barb will probably be the the main uh, like grouping up guy in the party. So you don't really have to run bowler anymore. You can actually just drop it entirely, drop the Leonine bow. Uh, you can go Yang's weaker, for example. And for the for even higher runs, you can also drop the Marauder two-piece bonus. Uh, this might sound uh, counterintuitive because you actually drop uh, one of your buffs, like the Boar Companion, but it um, it does help to have a better ability to group up enemies because uh, yeah, the grouping is very important, and the Boar will mess with that. The pets in general will mess with this, and when the runs are too slow, then it's going to be very hard for um, you know for the barb or for you to keep yourself grouped. For your overall positioning in those runs, you want to make sure that you are typically um, pretty much a little bit ahead of the party. So you always want to make sure that you go really fast. So when stuff is already about to die and you see that the elite is you know very low and so on, and your um, yeah, buffs are applied, you know they will last for two seconds. So you know in the last two seconds, you can basically just you know run ahead when the elite is like maybe 10% HP or so. Or 20%, and then this should be fine. And also, typically, you run a Nemesis Bracers, so you also have to rush ahead whenever you um, think that a Pylon should spawn soon because of the progression you made. So, every 15 to 25% progression or so, you can kind of expect a Pylon, and you can, you know, try to uh, run ahead a little bit more often so that you can click the Pylon immediately. Uh, because uh, it, it's quite nice to have it already, you know, up and, and ready for your party when they arrive because um, then you can just immediately blast and maybe you can even group up another en enemy elite uh, in that pull as well and uh, that will help. Keep in mind that you are also running the uh, four piece of god set so especially the momentum stacks are important for the movement speed. You want to stack um, the mov mov movement speed as much as possible so always try to keep it up but since you are using a lot of bowlers and hanging shots anyway then uh, this should not really be such an issue. Just make sure that, especially at the start of the run, you actually do get your 20 stacks because um, yeah, you have to be very fast. You have to you know run ahead, you have to run behind, pick the gloves, run ahead again to click the pylon. And uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of things to do. And uh, you always have to be in the right position, basically. So for this, you want to make sure that you have the mobility, that you have smooth screen displacement. Um, yeah, you know, if you're able, you could fit in more buffs. But the thing is, these runs are so fast that you can't really apply them all, and you will just like, fall behind the, the other party members because they are also running really fast. The globes will also be collected by you. So just in general, you are basically doing everything, and the, the barb is mostly running around, uh, buffing everyone, and then sometimes doing a few flips and a few stomps. But uh, yeah, it's mostly up to you as a support age to uh, to you know keep the group together, keep the, the buffs up and um, you know do all the, the important clicks basically. So it is a lot of work to do and uh, I also have um, one run to show you from the live stream and uh, basically what I did is I just tried to uh, say out loud which button I was pressing which um, obviously is quite hard to do because there's a lot of buttons <laughs> and uh, I just um, added this here at the end of this video now so that you uh, can maybe get a little bit of a better understanding you know when I press everything uh, it's not you know perfectly correct uh, because it was kind of like you know a life uh, a life talking over my run, but um, yeah, you get a little bit of an impression I guess of uh, how I did this. So I'm gonna leave you with this run. I'm already gonna say thank you for watching. Hope this helps you, and uh, then I'll see you guys next time. Okay, let's go. Left click, left click, left click. Free, strafe, multi shot, bowler, tangle, tangle, tangle. Four. 
Bowler, Bowler, Entangle, Multishot, Bowler, Multishot, Entangle, Multishot, Bowler, Entangle, Entangle, Straving, Multishot, Bowler. Okay, this guy die. Okay, three. 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 Okay, Bowler, Tangle, Multishot, Wolf, Bowler, Multishot, Tangle, Strafe, and Multishot. Bola four. Bola multi shot left click. Wolf multi shot entangle entangle. Bola bola multi four. Bola entangle multi. Entangle for Bola multi Bola multi Entangle They're going the other way Bola multi for Multi left click Bola multi left click for multi one Bola, Bola, left click, Bola, multi, Bola, Bola, multi, left click, four, one, multi, Bola, multi, left click, Bola, multi, left click, Wolf, left click, Bola, multi, left click, left click, Wolf, click, multi, Bola, Bola, multi, left click, left click, left click, four, Bola, Bola, multi, multi, left click, left click, Bola, Bola, multi, left click, left click, four, multi, left click, Bola, multi, left entangle, Bola, multi, entangle, Left click, left click, Bola multi, left click, left click, four, Bola multi, left click, multi, Bola, left click, multi, four, multi, 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 four, multi, ah, you can get on the beam. Okay, that's it.